Exactly. Nathan Mensah worked out for two teams that I know of. There may be a few more, but he worked out for the Clippers early this week. He worked out for San Antonio, which is kind of unique if they're going to draft Wemby, but maybe they're looking for a backup guy. Uh, I, I think more likely he's going to, instead of being a second round pick, he's probably going to be a free agent. And that, that gives him an opportunity if he gets some type of minimum offer to pick a team that he might actually have a chance to make their roster. You know, it's probably better to be a free agent than a second round guy. Second round contracts are not guaranteed. If you're a free agent, at least I can go to the Brooklyn Nets or the Houston Rockets, who are going to be in massive rebuild mode get an opportunity. Uh, either that he winds up on a two-way contract or that he winds up in the NBA G League. The other guys might get an invite uh, to, you know, to play in the Las Vegas Summer League, but that's that's just showing up and being on a team and playing street ball. And I don't think anybody else off the Aztec roster is going to get a chance in pro basketball here, but they might, you know, they well might go abroad to sign contracts somewhere. But I'll be intrigued to see where Mensa winds up. Good guy, a little bit limited physically, not a completely rounded offensive player. You would have thought after five years his offensive game would have gotten better, but he is what he is, but he still can play defense and he can vault and he can rebound in these toughest cement. So maybe somebody brings him in as a free agent. Yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, we always like to look for our, root for our local guys. But, you know, he played in that that league uh, like the last few months. Was it New Portsmouth or somewhere out? Well, he went to the different all-star game, all-star all camps. It was in Portsmouth more than other. Did not get invited to the Chicago draft camp. Right. And if you're not in that, you're probably not going to get drafted. But in that in that uh, all-star format, he did really well yep. offensively. I mean, he was scoring double digits. I mean, if he just – can be like a you know eight to ten points a game kind of guy. He has value in the NBA. Shot blocker, rebounder. Yeah, that, that's on his driver's license. So For that's sure. where it goes there. Okay, from that 